Hello everyone, I'm Juanita. Today I want to show you our experience at the SciPy Conference 2022. SciPy 2022 was the 21st annual scientific computing with Python conference held in Austin, Texas from July 11 to July 17, 2022. Yearly, this conference brings together attendees from industry, academia, and government to showcase their latest projects, learn from skilled users and developers, and collaborate on code development. Let's go! This year, the conference took place in the AT&T Hotel and Conference Center at the University of Texas campus in Austin. The conference started with two days of tutorials that usually take place before the general conference. During these, participants get the chance to learn about a specific topic in a hands-on manner. They are usually four hours long and can be beginner, intermediate or advanced level. There are two sessions of simultaneous tutorials this year's seven which means you had a lot of topics to choose from, regardless of your experience level. The conference officially started on Tuesday with a welcome reception hosted by Antho, the institutional sponsor of the conference. There, we got the chance to meet many of the speakers, sponsors and attendees of the conference. We had great food and met new friends. On Wednesday, we went through the registration early in the morning and received our SciPy swag. The conference kicked off with some welcome announcements, the keynote speaker and the SciPy Tools plenary session, where developers from each of the tools usually give short updates of their packages. These three sessions were held in the main room every day of the conference, from Wednesday to Friday. Most of the other talks and sessions were held simultaneously with other two sessions in two other rooms, so you could only attend one of them. The best play was to keep track of the SciPy schedule in order to figure out where to go next. This year, the talks in sessions were divided according to their topic. Some of them included Earth, Ocean and Geo, Materials and Chemistry, Physics and Astronomy, Machine Learning and Data Lifecycle. There was also a maintainers track where maintainers of scientific Python packages presented cool stuff about their tools or updates on new releases. During the breaks, the conference center always offered amazing food, coffee, and queso. We got the chance to visit the sponsored tables and learn about some of the most relevant companies supporting open source. Some of them have very cool swag to add to our SciPy bag. And of course, this was the time to make new friends and meet amazing people from all around the world. There was also a job fair and a poster session during Wednesday night where companies from around the world were recruiting for new positions and developers were presenting their work in posters. This was a great way to know about people's works and learn about what the community is up to with Scientific Python. And if you're also interested, a great way to end up with some good job options and very promising contacts. Hello everyone, my name is Sophia Young. I am a data scientist in Anaconda. I came to SciPy because I worked at the SciPy Anaconda booth. Uh, we had a really nice booth here with a lot of specs. I absolutely really love the conference. Um, I did a poster here and like the energy is just really amazing. It's amazing to see what other people are up to, like to see the amazing projects and the really cool work they do. The conference had also awesome Birds of Feather sessions this year, meant for people to gather and discuss around shared interests. This is a really cool space to have conversations with other people that have similar thoughts, in order to build new ideas and create plans together around a specific topic. There were four of these sessions in total split into two days, Thursday and Friday, with at least four buffs happening on different topics, 
so lots of options to get involved in interesting conversations. Another great space of the conference this year was the Maintainers Panel, where some maintainers of the Scientific Python ecosystem gathered to answer questions from attendees of the conference regarding different topics. This was the perfect space to directly interact with the developers of some of the Scientific Python packages and learn everything about the ecosystem. Not every day you get the chance to talk to a developer of your favorite Python library. Evenings at SciPy were filled with all the cool stuff. Lightning talks this year were on fire. These are five minute talks that people register to give during the conference about any topic, literally any topic. From funny packages like cap.lib meant to plot cat images. So I didn't want to break anyone's uh, habits, so I purposefully used the same API as matplotlib, um, even though cat.lib has only one function to talk about planning sci-fi on Mars using an astrodynamics Python package called Polyastro, or even a sci-fi song. People don't usually come prepared to give them before the conference. They just get ideas during it and plan these short talks on the fly. And results can be really amazing and almost always very funny. After sessions at the conference were over, there was some other activity happening that included food for sure. This year, we had the annual reception sponsored by IBM, Data Drinks and Bites with Deep Note, Happy Hour by Mozilla, Taco Truck Night, and many other activities where we got to meet new friends and talk to people we have only ever interacted before on GitHub. After all, the best part of the conference is the community around it getting to meet the developers you have been working with for years or the maintainer of your favorite scientific Python package is an opportunity that you can't miss. Okay, uh, my favorite thing about the SciPy conference is hearing the real world applications of these software projects that I had only ever interacted with on GitHub before. Uh, it blows away the idea that um, you have to be an absolute expert to get engaged in the community. And I think it bridges the gap between being unfamiliar and, um, you know, I've seen people that have only learned Python recently hang out and talk with people that have been developing Python tools for decades. So I, I love that it bridges that gap. The last two days of the conference, Saturday and Sunday, not everyone stays for these, were the sprints where people work together with project maintainers on open source projects. This is a great chance to submit your first PR in a scientific Python project. You will get the help of an amazing group of people who are willing to teach and share their knowledge with the community. Sprints are an informal part of the conference, so if you are not interested in coding, you are welcome to just exchange ideas or get involved in conversation. A great output of a sprint can be a lasting connection with a developer you want to start working with or a PR on your favorite package. Hi, I'm Medegan Monk. I am the program chair of the SciPy Conference. Um, the SciPy Conference is for anybody. You can come and present work you've done in Python. You can present a new package you've developed. You could show a new analysis you've done. It's anybody who wants to use Python or even something Python adjacent. SciPy is my favorite conference. Uh, it's super welcoming and it's really just getting to meet a bunch of new friends who uh, want to do cool things. The conference this year had 992 attendees from 32 different countries. There were 27 tutorials, 61 talks, 12 buffs, 4 keynotes and 5 networking sessions. SciPy 2022 was certainly a blast. At the end, we got to go home with new knowledge, new ideas, and new friends. Thank you so much to Enthought, the conference organizers, and the speakers for putting together this extraordinary conference. The open source scientific Python community is amazing, and the SciPy conference makes it possible to share ideas and build knowledge together. I hope to see you at SciPy 2023, and we are very happy for you to join the Scientific Python community. Welcome, Welcome to Scientific, Scientific Python! Python.